Welcome to the public hearing for the State Road A1A Permanent Repairs Project. This hearing is being held to give all interested persons the right to understand the project and comment on their concerns to the department. Public participation is encouraged and solicited without regard to race, color, religion, sex, age, national origin, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting either the Florida Department of Transportation, District 5 office, or the Tallahassee office. This contact information is also provided on a sign displayed near the sign-in table. This project is being conducted by FDOT District 5 in compliance with all applicable federal environmental laws and pursuant to 23 U.S. Code number 327 and the implementation of the Memorandum of Understanding between FDOT and the Federal Highway Administration, signed on December 14, 2016 with the FDOT Office of Environmental Management in Tallahassee as the approving authority. In November 2010, Florida Senate Bill 1842 was enacted, which requires the department to hold a public hearing whenever modifications to property access are proposed along a state highway. Hearings must be held 180 days prior to finalization of the design of the project. This public hearing is being held relative to state project number 440557-6-52-01. The proposed improvements involve roadway reconstruction and the addition of a median along a 1.42 mile segment of State Road A1A. This public hearing was advertised consistent with the federal and state requirements shown on this slide. The purpose of this public hearing is to share information about the proposed State Road A1A roadway repairs and safety improvements. This public hearing also serves as an official forum to give you the opportunity to express your opinions and concerns about this project. The project limits are along State Road A1A from South 22nd Street to South 9th Street within Flagler County and the city of Flagler Beach for a distance of approximately 1.42 miles. The FDOT is designing the permanent repairs of State Road A1A as a result of damage caused by coastal storm events. This project includes reconstruction of State Road A1A from South 22nd Street to South 9th Street. The typical section includes one lane in each direction, separated by a landscaped median. Drainage will be accommodated within the existing right-of-way. The median will have openings to allow direct vehicular access to businesses and residences. The new design speed will be 30 miles per hour. No parking will be allowed along the beach side of State Road A1A to allow for establishment of a vegetated sand dune. A continuous minimum six foot wide sidewalk will be provided along the west side of State Road A1A within the project limits. This is the current condition of the project corridor. The graphic on this slide illustrates the proposed typical section for State Road A1A with one 10-foot travel lane in each direction, a 10-foot landscaped median, two-foot paved shoulders, and a six-foot sidewalk on the west side of State Road A1A. The project will provide a median between the travel lanes 
with access management components, which will reduce conflict points and crashes. Conflict points are defined as locations where legal vehicle paths can cross each other. Access management is the planning and control of the location, spacing, design, and operation of driveways, median openings, and street connections to a roadway. Access management designates where and how vehicles enter and exit a roadway, helps protect public investment in roadways, and improves public safety by preserving mobility, reducing delays, and minimizing crashes. Closed median openings restrict vehicles from turning across the lanes of traffic, which eliminates conflict points, increasing safety along the roadway, and reducing traffic delays. This graphic illustrates the median openings being proposed for this project. The project begins at South 22nd Street, with full median openings at South 22nd Street, South 21st Street, and South 20th Street. Full median openings in front of the Net by George restaurant at South 19th Street and at South 18th Street. There will be a full median opening at South 17th Street. There is no median between South 17th Street to north of South 16th Street. It remains the same as existing. And a full median opening at South 15th Street. Full median openings in front of 1416 South Ocean Shore Boulevard at South 14th Street, in front of the Lazy Hours Motel, at South 13th Street, and in front of the Topaz Motel. Full median openings at South 12th Street, South 11th Street, and South 10th Street. This is the end of the access management. You can download a copy of the Florida Department of Transportation's Access Management brochure for more information. Go to the website at www.state.fl.us and type Access Management brochure in the search box at the upper right-hand corner of the home page. For information about this project, please visit www.cflroads.com. This website is the FDOT's living platform to keep you and the public informed of ongoing and future projects. You are encouraged to visit this website, which contains the links to easy access to online information and to stay current with the status of the project. Once you have accessed the project website, you will be able to view the current project schedule details, project contact information, and access project files such as this presentation. On the main page from the pull-down menu labeled Road, select State Road A1A and then click in the search box. When the new page opens, click the link labeled Design and then select the project number for this project, which is 440557-6. Construction is anticipated to begin on this project by summer 2018. During construction, measures will be taken to ensure the safety of construction workers and the traveling public. To provide this measure of safety, lane closures will be necessary. Localized pedestrian detours will be provided during sidewalk construction activities. Access to businesses and residences will be maintained during construction. This project is being coordinated with Flagler County, the City of Flagler Beach, the River to Sea Transportation Planning Organization, and Flagler County Public Schools Transportation.
to ensure bus services are not disrupted. No night work is being proposed. No additional right-of-way will be required. We encourage you to share your comments with us. There are many different ways you can submit your comments. Provide your comments verbally during the comment period following the presentation. Fill out a comment form and drop it in the comments box at the comments table. Take a comment form with you and mail it to the address shown on the form. Email your comments to Mr. Ty Garner, FDOT Project Manager at ty.garner at dot.state.fl.us. Make a comment to the court reporter. Use the Ask a Question button on the CFL Roads website on the State Road A1A webpage at the bottom right-hand corner. All comments received by November 13, 2017 will become part of the official public hearing record. After the presentation, if you want to make a verbal public comment regarding the design or effects of the safety improvement, you will have an opportunity to do so. You must ask for a speaker card at the sign-in table, fill it out, and hand it back to a member of the project team. This is your opportunity to provide a verbal statement for the public record. It is not a question and answer period. Please direct your questions to a member of the project team after the formal presentation. Speakers will be asked to talk into a microphone and will be called in the order that the speaker cards were received in. Please limit your comments to no more than two minutes. You can fill out a comment form at the hearing and drop it in the comments box or take a comment form with you and mail it to the address shown on the form. You may also make a formal statement to the court reporter before or after the public hearing presentation. Again, all comments received by November 13, 2017 will become part of the official public record for this hearing. If you have questions or would like more information, you may contact Mr. Ty Garner, FDOT Project Manager, or the FDOT Consultant Project Manager, Renato Gonzalez, by mail, telephone, or email. We appreciate you for taking time to attend this public hearing. Thank you for your interest and participation in this important project.